What's going on? This is Ryan with Automatic Comics, and up next, I've got a huge unboxing that just came back from CGC. It's 25 books. I'm actually going to split it into two parts. This will be the first part. I'll probably do 12 or 13 books in this one, 12 or 13 in the next one. Really excited for this, so stay tuned. I have not checked the grades, so we will find out together how I did. Alright, so before we get started, please remember to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button. It really helps, really helps the channel when you hit the likes. It helps the YouTube algorithm, you know, all that kind of stuff shares the video. So, this is a, a pretty big submission. This is a 25 book standard submission. That means all the books in here are between $400 and $1,000 and most of them are up on the, the top end of that, that range with some going above that. It all depends what the grades come back as. Now, like my other CGC unboxing videos, I did not check the grades beforehand. I have the books written down here with, uh, with my estimated grades, and so we will see how things went. Now, <clears throat> there, there's like a big stain on the bottom of the box, so I'm hoping that didn't you know, leak, leak through, because I, I like to open these from the, from the bottom so that I'll, um, there we go, so that, uh, let's see. It looks like it looks like it should be okay. I like to open these from the bottom so that then I don't have the grades facing me uh, when I take the books out, just to decrease the likelihood that I see something. So let's see. All right. Yes. So sometimes they end up having them flipped, and so the top of the book is actually on the bottom of the, the box. So you never really know exactly what you're going to get. Now, I'm hoping they're actually in order. Uh, so I'm going to see. I don't know which side I should take out from, and I kind of want to start from the front. What, what, okay, let's see. Let's see if they're in order. They are not. Because <laughs> right, uh, the one on the back there is not the one that's on the back of my list. But let's see if uh, this one up back here is for you. They're not in order at all. Okay. <laughs> all right. So we will just pull these books out. I will try to, to go 12 or 13 in. And then, like I said, I'll film a separate video. All right, now, if you're not familiar with the, so much with the CGC submission process, these, this was, like I said, a standard submission. Again, it was really fast. They opened this on April 27th. It is now May 20th, so a little less than a month to get a standard submission back. Uh, like I said, the Fast Track Modern got back in like five days. The Express got back in like eight. I do have a 25 book Fast Track economy submission that's still there uh, that's in the grading right now and so what I'm gonna do is I'll bring the book out I'll bring it down from the top and I don't show the top of the label so that I can talk about the book without seeing the grade because I have it on an, I can see myself on another screen so that's how I can tell uh, what the grade is when I bring it down uh, and so that makes it so I don't know what it is you don't know what it is and then I can reveal the book uh, at that time so okay so there's the back all right so First book here is Amazing Spider-Man number 20. This is the first appearance of the Scorpion. This is that book, uh, this is the other copy I had that I talked about that has this, uh, there it is, the pen stamp on there. So it's a US copy because it's got the 12 cents, uh, but it has that pen stamp, meaning that it was uh, probably sold over in the UK at some point. Now, I had this one at a 555. Uh, let's see what we got. Five five, nice. Yeah, so I'm happy to get that one on the upper end of that grade range. Uh, so now you can take a little closer look at it. Now it's a nice presenting copy. There's a little bit of tanning. You can kind of see it on the on the front. Um, it's really not too bad though. Pretty decent. And you know, it's just got it's got general spine wear. It's got this cool little uh, stamp from whatever bookstore it was sold in at some point. Coman's Books. Um, I tried looking that up. I couldn't find it. But yeah, like, like I mentioned before, it's got these, uh, this pence stamp on it, which I think is just is really cool. This is a book that I have been saying that I think is a pretty solid spec book. I, we've seen um, Matt Gargan in the, the first Spider-Man movie, uh, Homecoming, uh, but we haven't seen him as a Scorpion, one of the few villains for Spider-Man that's been shown, but we haven't seen as the actual villain himself. So I think that's coming. So I think this is a pretty good spec book to be picking up. So five, five, real happy with that. All right. Now, let's see, book number two. Let's see, what are you? 
I'm hoping in this first 12 or 13, it has one of the books I, I was really hoping to get back, but we'll see. I'm going to film it right after this, so I'll get to see it anyway. <laughs> but, uh, all right, so this is Amazing Spider-Man number six. This is one of the books I always wanted as a kid. I have now had it a couple times. I've, I have his second appearance, the book that I got when I was a little kid, and I always wanted this first appearance. I uh, just, I couldn't afford it when I was little. Now, this one I had at a 3.0. I'll talk about this one a little bit because it has some interesting flaws on it. Uh, but let's see what we got. 3.5. All right, nice. Love getting those, you know, little positive surprises. Um, now, the interesting thing with this one, and because I just did that restoration video, so I think this is something that's pretty useful to talk about with that. Because I had somebody, I think, that commented about how they don't understand how you can have something where it's considered color touch and other things where people are writing on the cover and it's not color touch. And really it comes down to intent. And uh, so if somebody's, you know, writing on the cover to try to make it improve the appearance of the book, then it generally will get marked as color touch. But with this one, so you can see here, you have this yellow up in, oh, here we go, yellow up around Spider-Man. And yeah, there, there we go. And so that's actually in the cover. That's the color of the actual book. But then you see this yellow highlighter that's over he that's here, and then more yellow highlighter that's here. So the person that I bought this from, he bought it from an, the original owner, and this guy, what he would do is he and his brother both had books, and the way he would differentiate his books from his brother so his brother didn't steal them from him was he would, he would put highlighter on his. And so that, that's why, like, you can tell, like, if that highlighter had been up in the yellow around Spider-Man, this would have been marked as color touch. This would have gotten a purple label. But because the yellow is here, and it's clearly that was, it's clear that was not the intent, doesn't get the purple label. So... 3-5, first appearance of the lizard. You know, he was in the last Spider-Man movie. It wasn't used all that much, but I've just, I don't know. I've always liked this book. Um, you can see this one's got like a, it's got basically like a subscription crease up the middle. And just, again, some general wear. I will probably do a video. It all depends uh, how shared those videos get because they take a lot of time to put together. <laughs> and so uh, we'll see if I do another video uh, where I go over the grades and, you know, graders notes because I wouldn't be surprised if almost all of these end up having graders notes with them just because they're just generally going to be a little bit lower grades. But back cover. And again, all of these were cleaned and pressed by the comic book presser. He was the one that I mentioned in my, my prior couple videos and, and he did these as well. So three, five. Happy with that one. All right. Wouldn't be surprised if this is another Spider-Man, but we will see. Yes. All right. <laughs> okay. So this is Amazing Spider-Man number five. This is the one that I thought was the book that I was getting out in my Express tier. That if you watched that video and I, I pulled that, that book down and I was expecting a 354 and it was a 1.5 and I was a little shocked. It was because I was expecting it to be this book. And uh, this book is... Um, I, again, like I said, I had a 354. This is the first crossover of Doctor Doom. It has a, uh, it's a nice, relatively presenting copy, but it does have a subscription crease up the middle. Let's see what we got. Yeah, four, all right. So upper end of that, that grade range, always happy with that. I always hope to get, you know, those surprises, but it tends to be, you know, pretty accurate. I, you know, especially on the silver and bronze stuff. I've noticed I've been undergrading a little bit on the golden age uh, based on the books that I've been getting back. But yeah, I mean, it's a nice presenting, Boro copy. Again, it's got some spine wear. Um, it's got that, you can see that subscription crease, pretty light in this one up the middle. And this one was interesting. I, I talked about this when I first got the book. When I saw this, I was a little worried that maybe that was some type of color touch or something, but I went through and looked at a ton of copies and I found that some copies have this, some don't. It's just a difference in the, the printer. And so a little more of that dark colored green got put on the cover there. And so you end up with some copies that have that kind of thing on there. It is not color touch. It's just a, call it like a, a printer defect or a, a variation in the in the printing. So 4-0, again, happy with that one. All right, and I, I said this, I, I this feels thicker. I, I think this might be the, I'm hoping this is that book. All right, let's see. But uh, yes, it is. Okay, this is potentially a really big book. I'm hoping this one isn't restored. <laughs> So I didn't think it was, but it had a lot going on on it. So I was hoping it didn't get a purple label. Um, but this, if you can see, this is Action Comics number 19. For a while, this was the earliest book that I had in my collection. This is from December of 1939. This is an old book. This is the first uh, cover uh, or first issue of continuous Superman covers. This is a cool book. It's kind of like a war type cover. 
Now, I think the spine or the cover, I believe, was completely detached. It might have even been completely split with tape on the spine. You can see it's got this big stain over here, but it's complete, or at least I believe it's complete. <laughs> so uh, I, when I did the page counts, I, I'm pretty sure it's complete. I had it though as a 0.5 because it was really beat up, or I had it as a 0.5 to a 1 because it was really beat up. I would love to get maybe something like a 1.5, but no matter what, I am doing good on this book. I really like this book. It is the earliest Superman book I have. Let's see what we got. Oh man, awesome. A 1.8. That is awesome. All right, so then you see here a detached cover, tape on cover, and interior. And the reason I am so happy about this is that a 1.5 recently sold for $3,120. I mean, this is early Superman, awesome cover, and this 1.8, ah, oh, that is, that is killer. So here's the back cover. Um, you know, just, ah, oh, man, that is, I'm really excited about that. Now, part of the reason why I actually, I kind of wanted this one in a slab is that this book does not smell great. Uh, it's not like a, a foul smell, but it's whatever caused this stain. It's almost like it's, um, kind of like some like paint remover or something like that. I don't know if maybe there's something on here that somebody tried to remove something or just something that got spilled. But uh, it's just, it, it when it's in an open bag, it just doesn't smell all that awesome. Um, but it presents really nice uh, for the colors and everything for the most part. You know, obviously it's got this big stain. I love these early detective comics and action comics. Um, mastheads or whatever you want to call them, the really big letters. This is when early on they did the 10 cents and kind of this, uh, angled square shape. I, I love the look of that. They got rid of it around issue 30. They went to a circle. I think the square is so much cooler. But man, 1.8. That is a monster book. Um, <laughs> it's one of those that I wouldn't have been surprised if they had uh, thrown me up into the, the next tier, into the express tier based on the grade. But I, you know, I didn't, I didn't know what it was going to get when I sent it in. Like I said, I thought, you know, 0.5 to a 1 just because I knew it was complete. I think it was completely split. No, it's not even completely split because it's just detached. Um, but I just, I wasn't sure on this one. It just, it felt pretty beat up, a lot of tape. And they've been grading my, uh, uh, you know, damaged spines really rough lately. So um, that's where I was a little nervous about that one. But man, 1.8, awesome. Awesome for that. That is one of the books I was most excited to see what the grade was, just because there had been some, so those really big sales recently for early Superman. And I know people crap on Superman all the time, but early Superman, early action comics, those are in-demand books, no matter what. All right, which one is it? This one feels thicker too. Okay, all right, so yeah, another Golden Age book. So this is, what one would this be? I think this is Detective Comics 124. I think that's what this is. Let's see. Uh, just trying to not see the, yeah, Detective Comics 124. Really cool Joker cover. There's, the, this top staple over here, I remember, was pretty loose. It was attached, but it was just kind of loose. Uh, there's some tanning and uh, let's see here. The back cover is really cool, really bright back cover. I'm just I'm always a big fan of of being able to pick up Joker covers. There's just there's always a demand for early Joker covers. What year is this? Uh, this one is from 1947, so 40s Joker cover. I had this book as a 354. So let's see what we got. 35. All right, can't complain too much about that here. And here now I can. Show the, uh, see how that, that staple there, there's a lot of little tears around it, um, but pretty happy with this one. There's definitely some, it's uh, more of a dust shadow than tanning. I mean, it's a combination. There's some tanning around the edges. Uh, there's these dust shadows, which I've talked about where it's from having multiple books stacked on top of each other, exposed to the environment. And over time, they just get this kind of discoloration where the, the book was exposed. But yeah, I mean, that back cover, it looks really cool. That's, that's a nice looking back cover, it's bright. Missing, you know, this little piece up here. But yeah, three five. Happy with that. Just, you know, I'm always happy when they're when they're in the, the grade ranges. I had a couple of those really big upside surprises recently with a couple golden age books. So I was questioning my my golden age grading a little bit where I was like, man, maybe I'm grading these a little too harsh, but last couple uh, that one was right on. All right. Here is this is one of the best Joker covers that exists. The top Joker cover is Detective Comic 69. There is no question about that. Uh, I don't think many people would argue that. This one to me is probably number two. Uh, there could be some argument for a couple really cool Batman covers, but this is Detective Comic 71. This one will be a 0.5. It's missing a number of wraps. I don't remember how many wraps, but it's gonna be a 0.5. 
there we go, 0.5, lots of notes up there. <laughs> All right, so uh, two center wraps and three quarters of page 24 missing, effects story, cover reattached with three extra staples added after manufacturing incomplete. But I don't care, <laughs> you know, it's like th these, like a book like this, I'm, I'm buying because of the cover. It's just awesome cover. The, uh, it has the, the opening page, the opening wrap too. Um, and it has basically the, the first inner wrap has a picture very similar to, to the cover. So it's a cool inner wrap too. I think I might've done a flip through of it, or I at least showed that first uh, page when I, when I got this book originally, but yeah, 0.5, happy with that. Detective Comics 71. Um, no, uh, no issue fit, fitting it in the slab. It had a massive spine roll. It's been corrected as much as possible. Just, uh, this was another one of those where when I was talking to the press, I was like, I just want to make sure it fits inside a normal size slab. I didn't want a magazine size slab for it. So cool. Happy with that. 0.5 detected on 71. Awesome Joker cover. All right. And we are six books in so far. Okay. So let's see what we got next. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, so a lot of you might not be familiar with this title. Uh, I talk about L.B. Cole a lot. Uh, this is a very famous L.B. Cole cover, or one of the famous L.B. Cole covers. This is Catman Comics number 29. I actually bought this book from Golden Age Guru, from Jeff on Instagram a number of, I don't know, maybe a year ago, year and a half ago, something like that. It's a really nice presenting copy, but I believe there's like a pretty decent spine split up here, and they've been hitting me on spine splits, so it's made me a little cautious about my grades. Um, but nice presenting copy, cool colors. LB Cole covers always just jump off the page like this. I had this one as a 3-0. Oof, 2-0. That's rough. I don't remember that giant tear in the back. Maybe I just missed that when I was greeting it. Oh, well. That's that's unfortunate. Not super happy about that. But, uh, yeah, there's a large tear here. But still, 2-0. You know, it is what it is. Um, I'm definitely going to check the grader's notes on this one. Because, yeah, I mean, it's such a nice presenting copy for a 2.0. Because it's like one of those things where, and this is where it can be, it can be tough with, uh, with grading. Because, especially in these lower grades, because you've got this book here, it's a 1.8. Much worse presenting copy. You know, completely detached cover, lots of tape repairs on the spine. Um, you know, that cover, I guess, and, it, and it gets a 1.8. And then this book, that far and away presents significantly better, much less overall damage, not lots of like tape repairs, attached cover, because there's no notes that says it's detached, it just gets a 2-0. So I don't know, that feels feels a little rough to me, but hey, can't, can't, you know, can't undo it. And, uh, but the, um, that Action Comics 19 makes up for a lot of potential misgrades. Uh, so, if I'm, or a lot of potential um, lower grades and so far things have been going pretty well so I you know you always get some some downside disappointments unfortunately all right so which one is this okay this is Batman number 181 this is the first appearance of Poison Ivy I had this book at a 455. This one's tough. This is a pretty clean book, but it has a lot of color rub on it. And so the color rub is really difficult with this book. It, it gets it a lot. And so to help with grading this one, I did look at a lot of other copies to try to see how high of a grade you could get with the color rub. Cause otherwise it's, like I said, it's a pretty clean copy. So I felt like a 455, wouldn't be surprised if it got a little lower just cause of that color rub, but 455, oh yes. That is awesome. 5.5. Five. That's one of the higher grades I've seen with the color rub. Um, you know, and like I said, the, the spine is, is pretty clean. You know, the, the general other flaws are pretty clean. But the, uh, the color rub, you know, and the back cover looks nice. Uh, but the, the color rub is, there, there's a fair amount of it. And so I think that's... I don't know if I've seen a 5.5 five with, with the, uh, that color rub. Maybe I have one time. And so it just kind of shows how clean the book is otherwise. Definitely a cool one to check the grader's notes. But that's one of those, these books that you, you really have to look at certain types of flaws with it because it just the color rub really shows on it. This is a book that's very important to check for that centerfold. It still has a lot of value without the centerfold, uh, but it is often removed. Man, 5.5, five. off white to white. That's a, that is a nice book. 
And that is, this book moves up quick in price with uh, just half grade bumps, especially when you start getting around mid grades. So that, that's, you know, those are nice surprises. Help make up for the, you know, that cat man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so I'm eight in. So let's see here. I'll do, I'll do four more and then I'll, I'll do, I'll do 13 in the next one, I think. So, all right. Oh, Batman again. Now we got Batman 171. This is the first appearance of the Riddler. I'm a little late getting this book back because uh, I have a nicer copy that I kind of want to keep as my my keeper copy. This is what I'm planning on selling. Uh, but uh, this was my nicer copy until then. I didn't get that one too long ago. Um, but a little late on this one just because it would have been good to be able to sell it uh, as Batman was coming out. But this one is actually a, a pretty nice presenting copy. It just, it has this the stains here, you know, and they really show up on the purple cover or on the pink cover. Um, but overall, a pretty uh, clean copy of this book. I think there's maybe some like little missing pieces on a corner or something. Um, but what did I have this one as? I had this one as a 354. So what do we get? Oh, God, man, they killed me on that stain. Yeah, and that's what people have been saying. The stains have been, they've been rough. Brittle, oh, brittle pages. Really? Wow. I'm surprised about that. Okay. Yeah, that one's, that's definitely a downside disappointment. Uh, brittle pages, I was not expecting that on this book. Um, <laughs> you know, this is one of those things, like the person that sold it to me, they're like, it's a 4.0 and I'm a very conservative grader. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know, and that's that's the tough part. Sometimes that influences what you expect for a grade. And uh, a two five, Eesh. not super happy with that. Definitely will be selling that book. Um, but uh, yeah, Ugh. that's a that's a downside surprise. All right, well, let's move on to the next one. Get that, that taste out of my mouth. All right, I have a couple of these. Uh, this is Avengers number eight. Uh, this is the first appearance of Kang. This is a book I was down on right after the appearance in Loki because the book just spiked up like crazy, but it's come down quite a bit since then. And uh, so I think it's a pretty solid book to go after uh, because he's gonna show up again. And I think the prices are gonna spike again. Because I had two copies, I'm not sure which one this is. Let's see. Uh, can't. I'm gonna try to look at the cover without looking at the grade. Okay, all right, I think this is the one that I had as a four five. So let's see, four zero. Okay, all right, not bad. You know, it's got it's got a rough spine, and uh, so you can see here, it's just got it's got a rough spine to it. But hey, you know, not too bad. It's uh, one of those books that um, I, I do think has a pretty good future, and so not not. Overly disappointed, a book that I'm, I'm probably gonna just keep holding on to until we see that character come back. All right, let's see if this is the other one. All right, so this is the other one. Now this one is a really nice presenting copy, but it has a very rusted staple. Let's see if I can get it up here. So you can see it, it's, you know, it's rusting and it's got actually like rust migration into the pages. And uh, so that can really, really hurt the book. Can be, makes it a little bit tougher on, on grading. Um, let's see. I had this one as a 5.0 because it is a really nice presenting copy, but it has that rusted staple. I can see them hitting it harder because the stains and stuff, they've just been killing books lately. Let's see what we got. Oh, crap. All right. Man, like, I'm, I've been a little all over the place today. Um, 6.5. Like, like I said, it was a nice presenting copy, but yeah, quite a bit of uh, rust migration on that staple. And so I hit it a little hard for that, that staple rust, I guess. So, man, uh, yeah, I mean, this is, you know, it's, you, you get, you win some, you lose some, and uh, you just, that's the, that's the risk of submitting books for grading. Um, but I'll definitely take it. I mean, yeah, like I said, I had it as a 5.0, got a 6.5, and I bought this one. I picked this one up from Heritage Raw. They had this one as a 5.0 as well. So I was definitely in agreement with them on, uh, on that grading, but really happy with with getting a 6.5 especially because a little disappointed in the 4 on the other one but we'll we'll take the win on the 6.5 on this one so that's awesome that's a that book gets real pricey when you start getting up near those grades that that more than makes up for the uh <laughs> the 4.0 versus the 4.5 
on the uh, Avengers 8. All right, so where am I at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, so this is the last book that I'm gonna do in this video. Then I will film another, you know, I'll, I'll film it right after this. Oh, I'm ex okay, man. I was telling my buddy about this one. I picked up this book. This book has a, I think has kind of a fun story behind it because there is a seller on eBay and he, he had this book listed, just the front cover, and it was like two available. And I'm like, in, in, in just one picture. And so I'm like, am I getting this book? Am I getting some other book? You know, you had no idea what you were gonna get because it was two available. I ended up getting the one that was in the picture and it looked really nice. Like this is a really nice presenting copy of this book. Um, I used to have an Edo. I ended up selling that Edo when I got this raw because I thought it looked nicer than that. I had it at an 885. I wouldn't mind if it got higher than that because this is a this is a clean book. I think it had just a couple little spots of like foxing down here. I think that's what it had that might have hurt it a little bit. Um, but this is cons this is classic Neil Adams cover, uh, one of my favorite of all time. And this is considered one of the books that started the Bronze Age. Let's see what we got. Oh my God, nine two. This book is a monster in the nines. Uh, and I'm not surprised, you know, when I, I went back, this is one of the books I did a long time ago in a grading video. And I, I, I went back and watched that video and I was, cause that's where, that's where I have these notes in from my, uh, in my, uh, spreadsheets. And that's what I had from that video. It was like an 885 and I went back and watched that video and I was like, man, I think that's nicer than an 885. And, uh, so, oh man, nine, two, that is that is a beast. That is one that is fun to end this video on. I mean, I think a 9.2, this is like a, this is over two grand. I'm almost positive. I mean, this is a big, big book. Oh, really happy with that. So here's a, here's a back cover. And, you know, just, just to kind of show how clean this one is. And, and it also, this is post pressing. And so, you know, it's always a little tough to, to estimate. So it's got this bindery issue a little bit down here, you know, a couple little ticks on the the spine at the staples. You know, you've got a, a couple little ticks in here, but super, super clean book. Man, yeah, just like a little corner blunting. And the colors, that's why I just, I love this. I love the colors on this book, just amazing. Now, one thing that's, uh, I think is was a good example in this, and I mean, it's slab now, so I can't show it, but sometimes when you have these really dark printings on here, like the black that's on Hal Jordan, uh, and the black that's on the the lantern, it will sometimes bleed through onto the back onto the back of the cover. And so you might think that it's color touch, but it's not. And that's where it's also really important to look at the actual front cover and see if there's anything that looks like it's a spot that that somebody filled in that doesn't look like it matches. Um, because this one had a little bit of that. It was, I can't remember if it was on the lantern or on his arm, where it was a spot that, that it's just so dark that it works its way through the page, but it's not color touch. So, oh man, 9-2, killer. That is, whew, man, this is, this, is a, this is a good unboxing. Like, really only one big disappointment, that Catman comics. Uh, and maybe, what did I have? The Catman and the, the Batman 171. Batman 171 was that brittle pages. Like I flipped through that book. I don't remember it. There must be some little spot that's real bad on there. Um, but that one's a little disappointing. The Catman's a little disappointing, but some big wins in there that action 19, the green lantern. Oh man, that awesome book. So hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to just go and start filming the next one right away. And I'll, you know, have another video out related to this. Very happy overall with the, with the outcome of this. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to see more content like this, I've got more videos over here. If you'd like to see some of my other videos and the subscription button right here, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video.